nights we're here in Hibberdeen Beach after a lot of requests to make some shad shows. We heard there were a lot of shad here yesterday. It's end of June. Uh, there hasn't been a lot, a lot of shad around. But uh, I'm quite keen. I've got this little 7 foot XLO and uh, Ninja 2500 with sure, 8 pound line. And then of course the Falcon little spoons which you can't go wrong for shad, this little ace bent. Um, so we're gonna have a look, see I don't see anything happening here yet. So it's not looking too great. But we'll give it a good shot. And like I said, we'll do a couple of shows on the shad today. I'll concentrate a bit of spinning. Um, having this little, nice little kingfisher bag, bag of tricks, little poppers, spoons. Then I'll bring my 11 foot six for the poppers and the bigger spoon for the Gary. And we'll do some shows on that those as well in the next couple of weeks just cover those uh, species and getting them on spinning gear and uh, as well as some live bait fishing I'll also do some shows for you guys just on normal shade fishing uh, using drift baits and using uh, normal up I haven't used a shad bung in years so I don't know if we'll do that but you guys can uh, obviously just alter what we show so this is a very nice light outfit now the reason I'm excited guys the whole thing with fishing is you adapt your tackle to suit the species and the size of the fish you catch and you're gonna have a whole bunch of fun in any case um, catching a nice decent shad on a rod like this even a small just size one um, would be great fun so I'm quite excited to hook some of them the thing is, if you might, might hook one of those Gary that come into the bay here this morning on a spoon, which is possible, you're going to have your hands full because this is a 2500, limited line capacity, small spool, therefore more pressure on your drag. Uh, nothing wrong with the drag, but in ratio of the size of the fish, tackle would be relevant. This obviously is for this type of fishing, shad fishing and getting a nice big shad. I would love to get a 3-4 kilo shad on this. Not the time of the year for that. And then just to run you through guys, the season is still end of September. Then the season closed for shad. And you're allowed four per person if you want to keep them or are going to keep them. Now just a tip on people keeping shad or shad for the first time. Guys, don't even freeze it, it's horrible. It's a horrible fish to freeze. When you defrost it to eat it, it's all like maize. It's mazy, it's not nice. So if you're gonna keep a shad, make sure you cook it within two or three days. You keep it in the fridge, clean it immediately, let it settle and keep it in the fridge. So yeah, enough talking, let's have a couple of throws and see if we love it. With shad fishing, some days they come on the spoon, some days they come on bait only. There we go, first one. <laughs> Lovely on the light tackle. Look at that. <laughs> now what's better fun than that? Starting your morning like this with a good fight, going straight for the rocks. A little seven foot XLR with a ninja. What a nice size as well. A lovely shed. These spoons are deadly. If you don't know that, they come in different weights. The Falcon spoons from Kingfisher. With the two little red tails, it has been a fantastic spoon to use. Guys, you don't have to reel this spoon fast. It's got the S bend, so it's got a bit of action. And, uh, Yeah, it's a matter of nothing happening and then suddenly boom. And on this light tackle you guys saw, that's brilliant. 
nothing better. Bring the fun back into shad fishing, fish lighter. Okay, that was my second cast, the first fish. It doesn't seem like there's a whole bunch of shad around, but um, what you can do is once you land, you can reel it so it's just subsurface. You can kind of time it to drop a little bit to midwater, reel it back at that, or you can let it drop to almost to the bottom, depending on where they're feeding. And that's the whole thing with artificial feeding, oh, artificial fishing and feeding, um, that you uh, have to determine in which water column they're feeding. Now, it's difficult, you know, if there's a bit more, if it's tough fishing, you can start experimenting to see where the fish is biting and where you, in which section, midwater, top water, or more to the surface, or at the bottom where to get them. So I'm going to slow this one way down, let it drop to almost the bottom, which I suspect is what I did with that one. drop a bit. There's no reef there where I'm casting so with the treble I shouldn't get stuck. What was nice about this shed is it took me way deep. So it took me way as the spoon landed, which gave it a nice long fight on this light tackle. Now, also known as uh, bluefish in America, Taylor in Australia, and yet in South Africa we call them shad. Nice eating fish when you eat them fresh. This one's bleeding, so definitely going to the pot. Hooked on the side. Here we go. That brings us to the end of the morning. Just a quick start of the week. Monday morning. Great on the light tackle. Get yourself one of those Falcon spoons. A nice little seven or eight foot light rod. Small little two five hundred eight pound line. And nothing else but fun. You can only have fun with it. Now with the biggest shade coming through this time. Uh, you know all oversized and up to 40 centimeters. Nice size shade. It is really great fun. A few shad came out, not too many really, and ratio of the anglers, but uh, I can't complain, I had great fun. This is the Spoon, little Falcon, Ninja 2500, and a 7 foot XLR rod. Get the distance, in fact, getting better distance than most of the guys throwing Spoon here, so uh, nothing wrong with that. So catch us next time, we'll show a bit of uh, drift fishing. Uh, with sardines for shad and whatever else methods we uh, 
will feature to show you how to catch the shad, also known as bluefish in America and Taylor in Australia. So, have a good week this week.